Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your Dumbbell Metcon Sculpt Workout. In this workout, we're gonna have timed blocks where we get some back to basic strength, we get some power, and we get some sculpt. Of course, all of it is going to involve metabolic conditioning for a full body workout. I'm gonna give you lots of different options to work to your fitness level. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's start just by moving our bodies. We're gonna get a quick warm up, just getting our bodies warm. You can march, you can roll those shoulders, and then we are going to jump in with some timed blocks. This is a short workout. So, of course, if you need more of a warm up or a cool down, I encourage you to get it on your own. We're gonna take just a couple minutes again to get our bodies warm and feeling good. Let's take those arms across right through here. The way this workout is gonna work, you can add a little side step right here, is that we have four timed blocks in this Metcon workout. So all of it should keep your heart rate up, but we're gonna have three, sometimes four, different options within that block and it's gonna be basically an AMRAP. AMRAP spans for as many rounds as possible. Where on the screen, you're gonna see your three moves. One will be a back to basic strength where I'm gonna encourage you to go heavy. Let's roll through that back, flat back and round it up. You'll have a certain number of reps. For most of them, it's eight. Then you will have a power move. Sometimes that will be with the weights. Sometimes it'll be body weight, a certain number of reps. And then you'll have a sculpt move with a band. Now, if you don't have the mini band, I'm of course gonna give you a dumbbell option or a body weight option. It's just an option if you have it. Otherwise, we'll use weights just to give you that variety. Let's roll through that hip, little squat right here. So, three things and you're getting them at your own pace. So we'll go a little higher rep on the sculpt. We'll go a little lower rep on everything else. All of it should get your heart rate up and you decide how much time you need. Let's do a little hinge here. Drive those hips to the back right here. How much time you need in between to breathe. You should have enough time even with some rest if you need them to get two, maybe three or more sets. Let's tap it back right here. Step back, hand down if you can, reach up and here. So world's greatest stretch. If you need to just hold here, you can stretch over, but if you can get it down, get it down, and stepping up in between. So, I will talk you through everything that we do. We'll have one minute in between those rounds where you can certainly grab water, and that's where I explain our next moves. Now, you always have options. I'm gonna give you low impact options for your power and some different options if something is not right for you, I'm gonna encourage you to be where you are today. If you can, take it back to that high plank. If that's not right for you, take it to your knees. Little stretch back child's pose, and then up into that core right here. Your core can either be on your knees or into that plank position. So be where you are today. That means this is your workout. I want you to make it work for you. That's why we love these AMRAP as many rounds as possible. And we're just sneaking this in with Metcon today. <sighs> So you can work in blocks, walk those hands back, and slowly round it up, and work to your level, all right? And again, with these timed intervals, if you need more of a breather, take it. If you wanna push right through, as long as you have good form, that is all that matters. It's not about racing through it, it's about going at a pace that is good for you. All right, so I want you to take those knees across. I'm gonna show you your first three moves. So super simple, we've got heavy weights. We're gonna do a lunge, and it can be any lunge you want. We can mix it up as we go, but we're gonna take it, I'm gonna start reverse lunge, eight reps right, eight left, eight reps left. Then I'm gonna set those weights down. I have power squat jump or a power squat, whatever that is. If it's not a jump, down, power it up here. You can even power up one knee so you get that plyometrics as you're coming down. Then we're gonna grab a band if you have it. Probably for this you could use a thicker band. We're sticking that band above our knees. Maybe we'll mix it up. Side squat, we've got 16. I want you to get low on it, step out wide, all right? So go ahead and start with those heavy weights. You have four minutes. Here we go with our lunges. Now, I didn't say this before, but if you don't wanna count reps, you don't have to. 
you can just switch when I switch. Otherwise, you might be slower or faster than me. You can go at your own pace. Four minutes. And I'll be giving you some options as we go to mix up if you wanna do, let's say a curtsy lunge, let's say a forward lunge. I'm switching to my left side again, going heavy if you can. Breathe, right here. Should feel that heart rate getting up, so that's where that Metcon comes into play. This one will move a little lower because we have a right side, left side. A lot of things are gonna feel quicker. Breathe. Yes. Set those weights down. You've got your power squat, whether it's a jump or power. You do you for eight. Eight. Again, you don't have to be jumping. You can power up. Yes, team, we're one minute down. Now, with that band, if you don't have a band, just hold one weight in the center and still get that step out squat. Here we go. And even though we're going a little higher up, so it's one and two, right? We're still getting low. Feel those outer thighs, I know. So you're gonna tell, you're gonna see we've got a lower body block, an upper, a core, sneaking in a little upper, and then full body. Four. If you're with me, we're going back to the top. And we're almost two minutes down, so maybe we're only gonna get two rounds in, and guess what, that's okay. I'm gonna take it to a forward lunge, but you do whatever lunge is good for you. Here we go. And again, if you need more of a breather, take it. Two minutes down. Yes, team. Going heavy on these back to basics. Yes. And here, right here. Cool burn. Switching sides, if you're with me. Remember, you can hinge forward on this forward lunge. Boom. Back to that power squat. If you want to take your toes out, you can. Here we go. If you're with me, power either here or in the toes, or again, drive a knee up. Yes, one minute to go. Back to that band, I want you to get low. Step out wide. Here we go. 16 total, so it's really eight each side. I know we're tired, but I still want you to drop those hips in your squat, right? Now, we got 30 seconds left. Wherever you are in this, I want you to finish strong. And if you're back at that lunge, I want you to alternate you still got 20. A lot of it is gonna be switching with the band. 15 seconds if you're with me, let's alternate our curtsy. Here we go. Yes, you can. What do you have for 10? Take your time, even if you're just taking a body weight. Yes, team. Last one, finish whatever you're on. And breathe. Do you feel why that works? Grab some water. You feel that metabolic conditioning, you feel that heart rate up, but we still went heavy, we got power. And we got some sculpt. All right, team, I want you to breathe, catch your breath. You got about 30 more seconds, watch me. Back to basics, bend over row, you know I love it. If you can, go two dumbbells. We've got eight right here, pull towards the hips. You can stagger, if you've got one heavy one, and you wanna go eight each side, you can, but we only have three minutes. Then our power is our snatch. Your snatch looks like this. Pull alternating, total eight. If the snatch is not right for you, just do a high pull from the ground. Then we're gonna take that band or a dumbbell. We're gonna do a little pull down and knee. I'll talk you through it once we get there. Probably that band. Go ahead, three minutes. Starts now, here we go. 
slow and controlled, especially with this back to basics, flat back, pulling towards your hips, really pulling those elbows together, up to the sky but low. Yes, team. All right, get ready for that snatch. You can do just a high pull either here or here or snatch it all the way up. We've got eight total. Your power can look like whatever you need it to be. Power. Yes. Put. Remember it can be here. High pull or your high pull can look a little bit more like a curl. Up to you. Oh. Yes. Set them down. If you have a band or one dumbbell, watch me. I'm gonna put my hands through or hold the dumbbell or both. Pull the knees in. Squeeze. I'm squeezing in my back, but I'm also adding a little bit of cardio and core. Now, we're going 16. If heart rate's up, you need a breather, just take it with the upper. Squeeze. Dumbbell, it's gonna be a push and a pull. Band, just that pull. Four, three, two. If you're with me, let's switch it. Here we go. We're a minute and a half in. We have a minute and a half to go. Can we get one more time through? Here we go. Pull it. If you wanna go a little wider or rotate your wrist on this, you can. Yes, I lost count, but that's okay. Ready, upper body power with that snatch. We are two minutes in. Here we go. Eight total. Get set. Power. Get set. Get set. Woo! Yes, you can. And again, you don't have to get eight in. If you'd want to just switch, or sometimes I know you guys tell me you reduce your reps, that's okay too. Maybe you're a four or a six person. You do you. Here we go. Band here, pull it down. Squeeze. Last 30 seconds. Yes, team. And then same thing. Whatever you got for these last 15, finish strong. Here's 10. Can I crank out a few more rows? Go for it. Four, three, two, one. Relax. There we go, team. Grab some water, shake it out. Woo, burn, right? All right, team. Here is what we've got. Woo. We are taking it all down to the mat. Now, if you need to keep this standing, here's what we've got. We've got overhead triceps and a crunch. You can do a standing version of that. We have a standing mountain climber, and then we have a bicycle you could twist here. So you can keep it all standing if you want. Keep that mat close by, that band close by. Watch me here, one heavy dumbbell or two. And we're right here, triceps and lift. You can tap those toes down if you want. If that's not right for you, do a close grip press. Then we flip it around, mountain climber, one, two, three, all the way up to 16. Then we're gonna take it band over our feet with a bicycle. So grab that weight, join me standing on the mat. We got triceps and a crunch. Here we go, three minutes all on the mat and lift. Now, again, you can tap those toes down. Maybe the lift of the crunch doesn't feel good for your neck. Maybe you just wanna do a reverse crunch, bring those knees in. That works too. Breathe. Take your time. I know. Yes, team. Set that weight down into your mountain climber position. You can tap it in or you can run it in. Here we go. You got 16 total, which means eight each side. Four, three, two, one. If you're with me, we're back here. We got our feet here and we got a band. We're almost one minute down. Here we go, we got 16 total. Eight, or eight each side. 
six. Push and pull with those legs, with or without the band, doesn't matter. Four, three, lots of core. This is your core burnout round. Burner, not burnout, right? Whoo, take that to the side. Triceps again, remember, if you don't feel comfortable triceps over your head, just do a little press, okay? Here we go. Tap it down, if you want, crunch. You can do a little toe tap, or you can even do leg lowers as long as they're controlled, right? You're not swinging or using momentum. Use that deep core. You don't have to go super far, but let's get those tries. Yes, team. Right here. Let's take it right here. Here we go. Cross them if you want. Eight each side, 16 total. That's our power, yes. Banded bicycle, you have just under a minute. Here we go. Hup. Eight each side, 16 total. Now it feels like we were just here. So a little bit of this is switching from front to back to front or back to front to back. And that is mobility. That's us getting out of bed, 30 seconds. Yes. One more. You have 20 seconds. What is it? Is it triceps? Here we go. Is it your bicycle? Is it your climber? Where are you for these last 10? Make them good. Make that core work hard. Yes. I know I'm feeling it too. Up. Last one. Boom. Oh, man, you guys. Whew. All right, grab a sip of water, whoo, right? All right, let's grab a sip. Up onto your feet. All right, our last round is four minutes, and here's what we got, team. Four minutes, we're gonna start with a deadlift. So this is full body, so go heavy. I brought my 20s out, so you might as well, right? Regular deadlift. If you decide you wanna split it up second round, you could do four and four, but go heavy. Then we have a clean and a press, all right? So it can look like this. We get biceps, we get shoulders. You can also just do a curl and a press. Then we grab that band, and we're gonna do a little tricep step out, all right? I'll talk you through it. So heavy, heavy power, four minutes. Here we go, deadlift. Drive those hips back. Right here. Slow and controlled. See how fast this workout's going? I know. It's going fast in the moment too, I get it. But, whoo, breathe. There we go. All right, clean and press, or curl and press. Clean, press. Here we go, power. Remember, if that's not right for you, just do a curl, bicep curl, press. Maybe round two, we'll add a little baby squat to it. Who knows? No, we got a lot of squats in that first round. One minute down. All right, team, so grab your band. If you don't have your band, you're gonna go tricep, kick back, to one side with your dumbbells. Otherwise, we're here, here we go. We're out, we're out. I'm stepping out with it, but you don't have to. I know those tries just worked hard, but let's make them work even harder. We got eight, seven. Either out to the side with the band or down low, kick back with your dumbbells. Yes, team, back to your deadlift. I'm gonna do a kickstand four and four. You do you. Here we go. Four. You can do regular or split up your reps. Switch it, I know. Boom. Ah, yes. Here we go, team. Clean and press if you wanna add a squat. 
You can, I'll add it halfway through. Here we go. Clean. Two minutes down, two to go. Right here, looks like this. Clean and squat, and press. Yes. You can also do that with your curl. Curl, squat. Yes. Boom, two more. Ah, last one. Now guys, if you have two bands, if you want, if you can get them on quickly, otherwise if it feels too clunky, just do one. Put it at your ankles. Here we go. We're pressing out for 16 and we're almost at three minutes. But you don't have to do two bands, you can just do one or again, tricep kickback with dumbbells. Here we go, three minutes, one minute to go. Step out, elbows up, extend. Think about that constant tension. Core engage. Yes, you can. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Woo, take that off. One more time with your deadlift. Woo. Here we go. You got 30 seconds. We got eight. Regular or kickstand four and four. Drive the hips to the back. Yes, you can switch it. Some of you guys are like, I'm still trying to get out of the band. I know. You got 15 seconds, team. Make the most of whatever you have left in these last 10. Boom, good form. Three, two, one, and breathe. Yes, team. Oh, man. Woo! Catch your breath. Here we go, team. Ha! Ah, quick sip of water. I know. What do we got? All right, you know what? I love a swing for power. So how about we do a swing? We've got eight, seven, ski or swing. Then we're gonna set them down. Then you're gonna take it plank, jack, up four total, four at the top, four at the bottom, so eight total. So it's your plank press, and if you'd rather keep it here, down, down, tap, up, up, tap, or down, down, jack, that's one, up, up, that's two, all right? We got swing, get your, take your time setting it up. We got two minutes, and that is it, team. Let's do it, all right, two minutes. Eight swings, eight plank jacks, or you can do standing regular jacks if that's a better option for you. Two minutes, starting now, here we go, prep it. You can do your deadlift if you want, eight, seven, or a one-handed swing, or one dumbbell swing, four, three, yes, this is a bonus, circuit, take it down, here we go, down, down, one, two, three, at your own pace. Remember, you can cut it in half if you want. Take the jack out if you want. One dumbbell for that swing works too. Here we go. Power it up. Eight, seven, or just a deadlift. If the swing bothers your back, just do that deadlift that we just did before. Bonus circuit, I promise you there's no bonus. Move after this. Remember, you can be on your knees. Down, down, jack. Up, up. Maybe you want to be here. Right? Either one. Up, up. At your own pace. You don't have to stay with me unless you want to. All right, team, we got just under a minute. Can you get each one? One more time. I know it's a lot. So get set. Good form. Deadlift your swing, two dumbbells or one. Here we go. Eight. 30 seconds to go, team. What do you got in these last 20? Can you come down here with me? If not, just get your jacks. Just get what you can. Do what you can for these last 10. Woo! 
Yes! Three, two, and one. I lost count, but we're at Stretch it back. Team, wherever you are. Child's pose, either on the mat or on the floor. I guess that's the same thing. We're standing. Just reach those hands. Woo! Roll through that back, cat cow. Did you feel that power? Roll back onto your feet, team. Pedal those feet. So either hands here, on the wall if you need it, or all the way down. And then very carefully take your time. Slowly roll it up. Woo! Could you feel the metabolic conditioning? I bet you could. I know I could. That heart rate stayed up. All right, team, big reach up over to the side. Please get some more stretching on your own after this workout. Whatever you're feeling, are you feeling your back from those swings? Are you feeling your hamstrings? Make sure you get some stretching. We're keeping it pretty short today. So this way we can get you in and out. Quick little hamstring one more time from here. Of course, leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. Do you like this format, either AMRAP or we'll just call it Metcon, right? It really is both. Do you like that? Do you like timed intervals? That's okay too. Whew. You like no timers? Sometimes that's fun too. You got some of that coming up. Either way, I wanna hear from you. Leave me a comment, leave me a like. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And of course, make sure that you are following me in all the places and that you are joining us in the Body Fit Athletic Club for all of the extras. Thank you so much for being here today. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your dumbbell Metcon Sculpt Workout. Great job, everybody.